three things that are going to ring extremely loud, especially in this rendition of the songs with Kevin Durant in the mix, with TJ Warren, with Terrence Ross. Um, it's going to be their spacing, their respacing, and then their manipulation of spacing within their half court sets and actions around the pick and roll, especially. And because the Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden pick and roll can serve as an advantage setter in a multitude of ways, that's going to allow for those three entities of their offense to just really be able to just put defenses in compromising situations time and time again. And I feel like this rep against the Indiana Pacers to start the game was a prime example of it, um, as well as another thing that we're going to dive into as the play kind of develops. So let's go ahead and get into it here. All right, so we're going to see them setting up shop. Chris is going to get a cross screen here from DeAndre Aiden. He's going to get the catch. And now they're going to get into spread, pick, and roll. Let's pay attention to their initial alignment with it all, however. So we got Devin Booker as the one pass away guy, the high guy on the opposite side that Chris is going to come off to. And we got Torrey Craig in that same corner on the same side as Devin Booker initially. And Josh Koji is going to be spaced deep in the corner on the same side that Chris is coming off to. We also want to pay attention to the Indiana Pacers here because they're going to be weakening Chris Paul in the pick and roll coverage. So they're going to be sending him to his left hand while Miles Turner is in a drop near or below the free throw line. So paying attention to the initial spacing. And then as they flow through, we're going to see Torrey Craig is going to sprint the baseline and he's going to receive an exit screen from Josh Koji. That's going to occupy the attention of Tyrese Halliburton, who's guarding Torrey Craig, but also Buddy Hill, who's guarding Josh Koji. But there's another thing to that. So if Chris Paul is coming off to his left hand, that means that Tyrese Halliburton initially is going to be the low man. But because Torrey Craig is spreading the baseline, that's going to force for Tyrese Halliburton to communicate with Benedict Matherin, who's guarding, but who's guarding Devin Booker right now. He's going to have to communicate to him that, hey, you're going to be on the single side by yourself now. So initially, what the Suns are doing essentially is flipping the entire court balance in the middle of the play. That's respacing, and then it's also manipulating space because of how it's going to retilt the court. And it's going to also, which I mentioned in the opening, it's going to isolate the tag, meaning it's going to allow for Devin Booker's man to be tasked with tagging the roller, but also tagging and being able to recover from him as he shakes up in relocation. So, yeah, that's a lot, and that's a lot of what the Suns do in any given offensive possession, but especially ones like out of timeouts or to start quarters or to end quarters and uh, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and let this one kind of roll through some, and we'll see it all kind of play out. All right, so the fact that Torrey Craig is running a baseline here, is just completely, like I mentioned, it's shifting the balance of the floor. And it's also putting Benedict Matherin in a situation to where he has to be ready to tag the roller, but he's also got to be ready to close out on Devin Booker. And in this position that Devin Booker's in could also be Kevin Durant, which means that if either one of those two, if their man is not going to be tagging the roller or stepping towards the roller to kind of bump him and give give the two direct defenders in the pick and roll the opportunity to recover back to their original assignments. If they're not going to do that, that means DeAndre Aiden has a free roll to the basket. Obviously, Chris Paul can hit the pocket pass whenever he wants to, uh, almost however he wants to. But especially when he's able to engage the drop coverage defender here like he does with Miles Turner. Now, Matherin doesn't necessarily put his hands on DeAndre Aiden. Um, but he closes the space to where if Chris was to make this pass, there's going to be hand help that DeAndre Aiden has to navigate on the catch and trying to get to the basket. And that's not what you want. But because Matherin, and it looks like there's no communication between him and Tyrese Halliburton, because it looks like Matherin is kind of almost opening up like he's playing too, like he's trying to split the difference between two offensive players on the opposite side. That's not the case, and it doesn't look like the communication was there. So that all of that and Matherin's responsibility being toggled as well leads to Devin Booker being able to shake up, gain extra space away from his defender, and be wide open for this three-pointer to start the game, and he knocks that down. <laughs> 